Now, Surf is, uh, Surf came after WebScripts. Um, it was um, a product of actually of the Alphabet Services team. They, um, they had an awful lot of WCM business, and um, some people got WCM. It's an extremely powerful platform, and some people didn't get it because essentially it's a content, it's, it's a content management system, and it has a lot to do with you know, uh, making sure that files are locked, initiating workflows, authoring, XML authoring, um, and so forth. But uh, it's, not, it's not easy uh, to see something significant work out of the box without Fresco WCM. So the actual the sales engineering team said, hey, you know, we'd like to have a simple, a really simple lightweight framework that we could build um, demonstration applications and prototypes for people. And so it, it, very simply, they could see the value in WCM. And WCM has incredible value, um, and they needed something to show it off. And so they started down the path of building this. And, uh, and it, it turned out to be so uh, good that Alfresco uh, proper said, hey, you know, this really makes sense for us to, to uh, look at and use to build our own applications. And especially if you look at the drag and drop capabilities in Studio and, and the real vision for, for Surf, it, it makes a lot of sense. And you can see the value in, in the Surf framework in the sense that um, take a look at the share application how um, rich that application is and how user friendly that is. And that was built in less than a year. And if you look at the web client, the job server faces client, that was sort of built over the last three years. And I, you can already see this, this surf, the share application just sort of surpassing them and the agility that the team has developing for, with that platform. So, they, so I think that they've achieved this and they've proven that by eating their own dog food. The other thing is that they wanted to have this sort of drag and drop um, point and click construction model. Again, a lot of the same web scripts um, uh, philosophy is, is also present in the, in the uh, surf philosophy. Again, reusable components, a focus on reusable components, a focus on XML configuration, making sure that a website can be fully described in, in XML and, and uh, web scripts that can be deployed from within WCM uh, and, and, and just work. Uh, so you don't need any heavy infrastructure uh, to, to, to make any site work other than a, a simple a surf engine. Um, sort of the focus on reusable components really enables uh, and encourages contribution from the community. So if it's easy to build plugins, then people will build them. And uh, that ultimately helps everybody. Again, um, there's a, was a, you know, the, the, pro the project itself started as something to work with WCM or to show off WCM. So obviously it has a very tight integration with WCM. And um, you'll see as we move forward how uh, Web 2.0 friendly Surf is in, in the sense that everything's URL addressable, everything's uh, based around this web scripts concept. Surf is essentially a MVC pattern. Um, it's uh, it, it's Alfresco's own application framework and MVC. Um, every, I think everybody here knows what MVC is, but it's kind of over it model viewing controller that is. We employ this pattern whenever we want to separate uh, view from model. We want to make sure that there's no tight coupling between these two parts. And what that enables us to do is to have multiple views for one model. Um, and the view is often, if you look at the life cycle of, view, of a view, it's often much shorter than the life cycle of a model. And so that, this also enables us to change this view out uh, without disrupting the model, or if we have to, to alter the model and not disrupt the view. In the case of Surf, in your view tier, you have your free marker, your JavaScript, and your web script engine. And in the controller, you have this dispatching framework, you have a URL manipulation and sort of URL um, handling capability, credential vaults, which means that uh, Surf is able to um, 
uh, when when people authenticate, it's able to say, hey, I understand which system I'm authenticated against, I understand your credentials, and I'll hold on to them for some period of time, and I will pass them for you so that you're not constantly prompted to authenticate. And then it's able to, and the, the, the real focus of the controller is to interpret this sort of declarative XML definition that you build and, and generate a site from it. And then the model is really, it really depends on what you're, you're constructing and what you've connected um, uh, surf to. So it can be a very shallow model tier that's really doesn't go much further than what your web scripts provide. Or it can, it can be a very deep model that reaches down into Alfresco, and we'll get into that later, into your content graph. Uh, 